Hey everyone, it's Jack and Dave. Hello. Once again for Hattons, we've just got back from the Great Central Railways model event for 2019. And Dapol had all kinds on show with plenty of new samples for forthcoming products across 00 N and O gauge. And we just thought we'd put together a quick video showcasing all the new stuff that will be coming through. So let's take a look at the latest news. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the new samples of the LSWR B4 in double O gauge. This is the second batch of those that's coming through, isn't it? It is. The first ones came out about a year and a half ago now and went down really well at the time. So we've got quite a few new liveries here now. Some for the first time as well. Some of the industrial liveries in there, the um, Sussex yellow livery. We've got wartime black and southern line black in there as well. A couple more British rail ones for your era four and era five modelers. The difference with this one is as well, there's a slight modification to the tooling to do the K14 boiler variation. So it's a slight bit of difference in there, but it covers more of the class. So you can do a couple more That's liveries, a couple more numbers. And these logos are pretty, pretty cute little dockside shunters well, anyway. Were, like you said, the first batch was incredibly popular, wasn't it? Because it's a bit of a quirky, chunky sort of thing. Yeah. And obviously there's the versions out there with the cutaway carb and all that. And it's just a bit more interesting, something not not quite usual that's it. it i mean to me a local of a full cab will always look a bit better but the guys who really want to see the detail in there or your regulator detail your firebox detailing you can on this as well it's all there it's really good to have a that's look inside it. the cab because all the bits and pieces are in there and these are coming out towards the end of the year so these are the first decorated samples that all i have said that there are a couple of minor changes to take place on them i think one of the green liveries needs a bit of amendment but they have said that that's taking place so there'll be some further samples to see pretty soon but these should be with us later in the year really looking forward to seeing these Next up, we saw the JHA Hopper Wagon in double O gauge, and Jack, you got a really close look at these, didn't I you? I really did. I spent quite a bit of time checking these out at the show, and um, they really are shaping yes. up to be very nice indeed. Dapol's got a real skill for creating top end freight stock in double yeah. O, and these are going to be no exception. Um, they're showcasing the very unique Fossy Yeoman livery. And there's two different toolings, aren't there, covering the inner and outer versions of these wagons? Yeah, you've, you've got it spot on. The outers have come with the buffers on one end to hook up to your locos. And then the actual wagons themselves are connected with Buckeye couplings. Yeah. So you've got inner vehicles which have those at both ends. And then essentially you have an outer at each end and a few inners in the middle. And the real life rakes are pretty long. But of course, if you've only got a smaller layout, you can just have a couple of each and recreate it in any size. But... They really are something special, these wagons. As you said, Dapol's got a knack for sort of modern bogey stock now, such as the HIA hoppers. And I mean, these, they're, they're even DCC ready. Yeah, and that's to operate the tail lamp on the ends of the outer yes. wagons, isn't it? So you yeah. can just add that extra depth of realism that you don't quite get with some other stock as well. So that'll look really nice. And one thing I noticed with these is the weight of them. It's the weigh a ton yeah. and it just adds that sense of realism with them and they just feel like a really strong heavy piece of equipment which echoes what they're like in real life and that's going to improve the running quality at the end of the day isn't that's it, it? Yeah. and you know they'll be able to stay on the track especially in a big rake and they're going to go perfect with a 59 as well which is also coming from dapol i mean 59s and jha wagons is that's the loco that pulled those wagons so you've got the ultimate combination there really it really is a great um, looking train with that on the front and they're still in operation today with those aren't they this is it they've been around quite a few years now but they're still doing the job and the models are coming out towards the end of the year of both the 59 and the jha so we've got the pre-orders open now so take a look can't wait to see those running on people's layouts so while we're talking about modern freight stock uh, there's something great for you engage guys as well that all scaled down versions of their very very popular hia wagons they've got smaller and they've not lost any of the detail they either really i haven't. mean these have been out in double o gauge now for a few years and there's been a lot of batches of these they're always popular there's been tons of these things coming through and they just go through I think immediately don't they 20 different variations of these now in double O and they're looking just as popular and just as good at modeling engage really you've got the same liveries there you've got your freight liner green and your freight liner white and these wagons have been around since mid 2000s in real life carry a lot of sort of the heavy aggregates traffic but it's like we we're saying before dapol's really nailed the modern big wagon market yeah. at the moment and um, 
it's now coming into Engage, and these are really nice quality vehicles. You've lost nothing from the four mil versions, but making them half the size. Yeah, and like you said about the wagons being similar to the double O stuff that they produced, when I was getting my close look with them, they even in Engage, there's a bit of heft there, and they just feel really solid. Yeah. And it again, it echoes what the real life counterparts are like. So where do you go from Freightliner wagons? Freightliner locos, pretty much. I mean, Dapol's got two more of the Engage sixty sixes on the way as well, and as well as an EWS one with DB branding, they have got a Freightliner one with a difference. Bit of an unusual one, this one, isn't it? It's Freightliner blue. That's not something you see every day, and it's got the nameplate Billy Boss over this one. Yeah, it's sixty six six two three, which carried this livery for about six or seven years. So it's a bit more of an unusual one. It was a one off actually in the yeah. blue, but everyone knows the Freightliner green livery out there, and. It's just nice to have a bit of variety, isn't it? Yeah, really? just for difference to roll on your layout. But like you say, it was out there for a number of years, so it did get out and about quite a bit, so there's plenty that you can run it with. And the other variation they're doing there as well is the EWS livery with the DB branding. So a heck of a lot of the DB Schenker locos at the moment are carrying this sort of interim livery, Yeah, really. So I think there's got to be around 100 now. We're not doing a full repaint, but they are still putting the company's branding on there as well. So... It's quite a commonplace thing to see out there, and these are they're all over the country, really, doing many, many different jobs. So if you're a bang up today, engaged modeler who's modeling really sort of 2018, 2019, maybe a couple of years before, these are both suitable for you. And like you say, if you're running stuff that's bang up today, but you love that retro look of EWS, then it's an opportunity to run it on your layout. That's it. And these are coming out towards the back end of the year, they've let us know, but they are available to pre-order now. Not content with just 66s, Dapol have also shown off four new variations of the fantastic Class 67 locomotive in Engage. Now, it was a bit of a revolutionary model when it first launched, and it's still looking fantastic today, isn't it? It is. It was ahead of its time when it was first released, with etch grills, DCC ready, full directional headlights, and they've been popular ever since, with new liveries coming out every few years. And this is the first time we've actually seen two of those liveries on the model as well. Yeah, we've got Charlotte coming through in Cola's Rail Freight livery. And there's also the British Pullman one as well. Yeah. And there's a couple of returning favourites in there as well with the DB Silver, um, which is very eye-catching. And then we've also got the Royal Train version, which is in the DB Royal Claret livery. As you can see, it's just the body shells on show so far. So these are quite early in the stages of development and they are subject to change, but they do look promising so far. If bang up to date locos aren't your thing, Dapol's got plenty of classic traction coming through as well with a class 26s on show. We've not had these in the range for quite a few years now, have we? So it's a welcome return. It's, it's been about eight or nine years since these that have been long. in the range and a lot of people have been asking for them as well. So it's good to see them back in there and they've been updated with a DCC ready chassis, etc. We've got six liveries coming out on them. Dapple had the first free on show. Again, just the body shells on these, so they're still quite early in the development. But we saw BR Blue, Rail Freight Call Sector, and Rail Freight Grey as well. And these are looking good. A lot of people have been asking for these, wanting them to come back onto the market. And perfect loco for passenger work, freight duties, all around Scotland. And a lot of people love that sort of 1970s, 1980s Scottish modelling scene. It's like you say, it's very nice to have this classic locomotive back in the range and in this upgraded form where it's a bit more useful for modern layouts with digital and all that sort of thing. That's exactly it. And we're expecting these again sort of winter and maybe early 2020. Well, we haven't mentioned any ore gauge yet, so let's finish with something big. Well, it's sort of big, isn't it? There's two tank locomotives on the way from Dapol. You've got the GWR14XX at 042T. Yes. And then we've also got a retooled version of the Pannier tank, which is showcasing the 8750 class with the older style of cab. Let's talk about the 14XX first, I guess. Yeah, I mean, these are the auto tank locos. These have worked pretty well with Dapol's own auto coach that's come out, but also the Great Western coaches, freight stock. And they're a really nice little compact locomotive for a Great Western branch line. Oh, yeah. And we've only seen the BR Black one at the moment, but... There's loads to come, isn't there? There's, there's covering all GWR and yeah. BR kind of eras. There are lots of liveries coming through there for the whole lifespan of the class. And the detail on it's really, really sort of present as well. Full cab interior, separate handrails. I mean, it's all there. Yeah. And the panny is shaping up to be fantastic yes. as well. There's so much detail on it. There's 
like you say the full cab interior there all the handrails under frame detail and this one's got a magnetic removable cab roof really? as well right, okay. so you can take a good look inside if you fancy yeah and with this new tooling variation it lets you get a couple more of the interesting liveries we've not seen so far as well with the railway children great north and south loco being replicated i can too. see that being very popular i mean both of these locos are looking really good yeah and like with Dapol's previous smaller O gauge locos like the Class 08 and the Gin T and stuff like that, it's a fantastic entry point into that yeah. part of the hobby yeah. and they're likely to be incredible sellers. And both of them were looking again sort of that winter to 2020 slot at the moment, so we should see more on them soon. Not too long to wait. Well, that covers everything we got to see this weekend, and I mean, there's something exciting in there for everyone. Oh, it really is. Whether you're an O gauge, N gauge, double O gauge modeler, whether you model modern image, steam era, and the best bit is that's not everything they've got on the way at the moment yeah. too, because we didn't get to see a lot of what's forthcoming. So if you want to do that, take a look on our website. We've got the whole of Dapol's pre-order section and there's something in there for you. I can pretty much guarantee it. Just one thing to remember though is everything we've shown in this video is an early sample, so the subject of tweaks, changes, amendments, but just to improve them and they're all looking really promising so far. Like Dave said, there was all sorts of stuff on display there, but we wanna know which was your favorite. So remember to make sure to leave a comment below telling us which one you liked the most. And obviously if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and also make sure to like the video as well. Everything you've seen today is available to pre-order on our website right now. So if you head to the link in the description, it's all available there to view with plenty more pictures and information and everything you need to know. Right, I think that's about everything, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So it's been Dave and Jack once again for Hattons, and we will see you in the next video. See you soon.